meats, cheeses, fruits, and more. This fancy combination of beautiful bites all come together on the ever popular charcuterie board. Now, it might sound like regular items that you find every day at the grocery store, but when you put them together in the right way, it takes a deft touch and a keen eye. <laughs> Which is exactly why we've got an expert in the house this afternoon. This is Caitlin Evans. She is the owner of Dockside Restaurant in Pocomoke City. Yeah. And I have been wanting somebody to come in here and talk charcuterie for so long. It might have something to do with the cheese. But I know, <laughs> you love the cheese. So yeah. here we are. Welcome. Gonna, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. So we are going to kind of dive in, make our own charcuterie board. Um, and tell me, tell me first. Yes. What is a charcuterie board? So it's really just a fancy word for cheese board. Cheese okay. on it. a board. That's it. Is, That's okay. Is All the right. Fancy word for it, but okay, gotcha. it's become so popular with I think now that we're moving towards a post-pandemic world, right. people love the idea of grazing again. They mm -hmm. love the idea of getting together, friends, family, and you can put a board on a kitchen counter and everyone can be around it and go. have a good time. I like that. And so it pairs well with any beverage mm -hmm. you would like, and so you can build it however you want to build it. Okay. And so I don't claim to be an artist, but it is art in a sense. It's like food art. Sure. So you, uh, there are rules or regulations that people might say, well, it needs to have a soft cheese and a ripe cheese and a strong cheese. It's all about what you want. What you want. Because what a waste of a cheese if you don't like it to right. put it on sure. your board. Yeah. But I treat the board, uh, this one here, I had especially made for me. So That's it's, it's rather large. A great family friend made it uh, with customized different uh, grains of wood. And so this is the one that I use the most in the restaurant for events and weddings and catering. And so I like to look at it, you know, has anyone ever told you that when you plant a plant in a pot, you have to have a filler, a spiller, and a thriller? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> there right. you go. Well, we do the same thing with a board. So you need to have a filler, a spiller, and a thriller. Okay. okay. So the thriller is going to be a rose made out of meat. A meat rose. A meat rose. And that's what you're going to show us We're here? We're going to make a meat rose together. Okay. And so you can use any type of meat. I will say prosciutto is not the best because it is so delicate. I would use more of a salami or a pepperoni when you're doing this, but okay. anyone can do it. So a champagne glass is the easiest way to do it. Oh, I thought we were having champagne. That's what I thought, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not, for the champagne not at all, is it? too late. No. Okay. So <laughs> what we're going to do is you're going to just take a piece of your salami and you're just going to drape it over the champagne glass. And then you're gonna repeat that and you're gonna come about halfway in oh, okay. and repeat it again. And you're just gonna keep moving around the glass. Oh. And so you see that kind of the base of the flower mm -hmm. is coming together. And then what you have to do is you have to have at least, you're doing good. Look at him Look over there. At you have to have at least three layers. Oh, okay. So you kind of want the, it, treat it like a flower. You want the bud and then you kind of build out your your blooms and so you keep going around the glass and you can see look you're doing good Jimmy keep going Don't make fun of me now I'm not okay. you're doing good All right. you're gonna keep moving around that glass Count and sometimes layers yeah see it's working <laughs> sometimes I can I pick mine up and move it around I think it's easier or you could do it oh so you want to have it so yeah, you can so see you, the layers on the outside right and you can see the bud is starting to form oh, inside the glass okay yeah and you said at least three layers. At least three, so if I want. but you could do more. Mm -hmm. There really is no way to, to mess it up. So I tell you, we're gonna take the glass out of this when we get them all done, but yes. does it come out very easy? Yes, it oh, does. Yes. It's gonna be easy. Okay. We need to throw, he needs some more meat. I need some more meat. Yeah, yeah, I ran out, but. When we're, when we're yeah, meat rosen, add, you gotta get serious about, okay. about the meat. Yeah, we're gonna add some more to yours. Right. And then what you do is you right. just take the glass, yeah. flip it over, okay. and you kind of just turn it and lift. Oh my goodness! <gasps> we made Look a meat rose. You made a meat rose. We made a meat rose. There you go. And so that becomes that thriller of the center of oh, your wow. board. I can't and put so my thriller on there. Put your thriller on there. There you that go. That is so, cool. look so much better than How mine. Cool. No, they're, no, not at all. It's beautiful. So Jimmy. You can cluster them together, and then I always like to look at the fruit as that spiller. Spiller. Okay. So great. Okay. Um, you can do things like fresh rosemary if you want. Um, Jimmy, you can add some raspberries and strawberries kind of over here because the one thing you want to do is kind of mix up the colors. You don't want right. everything looking the same color. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. and so, so just like pile yeah, them up? That's, there just, really is no wrong way to... Just do it so people can get a hold of it, And right? I do love to cluster it. 
Oh, okay. We like a good cluster. Gotcha. And so you can kind of layer it. And then the raspberries, you could have maybe coming out over here. Over this way, okay. Yeah. Well, you are making this an art, aren't you? Well, you wait. We're this not done. Oh, really? It's not We're even not done okay. yet. We're not done. And so you see next to the raspberries is I have some chocolate because yes. no cheese board is complete without the sweet component because My a goodness. lot of it is complemented by chocolate. And we have dark chocolate just because that's the healthy one, right? Mm -hmm. So it's okay to eat. <laughs> right? A lot of. A dark lot chocolate of, as is much healthy. as you want. Yes. See, that looks okay. so good. It looks good, like we Jenny. have a lot more to do. So, what do you say we take a break? Sure. We'll come back and we'll finish up our uh, charcuterie board. You and got we also it. need to talk about the big event you got Doc coming jam. up. Doc, Doc Jam. Doc Jam. We're going to be jamming. Yeah, stick around. <laughs> we have more for you on Del Marva Life when we get back. Look at that. It's all coming together. Started off with our beautiful meat roses. We are in the Del Marva Life kitchen with a special spread of quality eats or as some people like to call it, a charcuterie board. <laughs> Kaylin Evans is the owner of Dockside Restaurant in Pocomoke City, and she's helping lead the yes. charge here. I'm just, I am just head over heels in love with what we've made so far, and we have more to go. It is, it's really coming mm -hmm. together. So the really neat thing is it doesn't matter how big of a crowd you have. Mm -hmm. So if you want to invite a bunch of people over, this is a great board to have. Okay. If you want, we do a lot of portable things. And so you, we make little individual boxes that can go to businesses. Oh, wow, okay. We tie it up really pretty. And yeah. Everyone gets its own individual oh, that's awesome. box. Or at weddings, what we've been doing is individual cones. And so we fill the cones and then we pass them around at weddings. What so a great that idea. Is, there's lots of different ways to get your cheese fixed. It is pretty cool. So <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to start adding that filler, what we call. So we've got right. our thriller, our spiller. Now we need our filler. And so we love partnering with our local dairy, Chesapeake Bay Farms. I don't know if you've heard of them, but oh, we yeah. love them in Pocomoke. And so this is the Old Bay cheese. I wondered, you we know, I probably Old better Bay check cheese. that out. Yes, you might want to try it and make sure it's good. And Lisa's done. <laughs> so what you're going to do, Jimmy, yes. is you're just going to start piling it up near our rows. And so you don't have to be super neat. You just start piling. Okay. So, so you grass, don't want a pattern or anything, really. I don't really. think you, I don't like to make it like, Jimmy was talking about if it's too pretty, you don't want to eat it. You right. want it to be approachable. We don't want to be stuffy. And so you just kind of start piling that on there. And a lot of people s tend to say, what's that? What's, what kind of cheese is that? And that creates that conversation. Right. Then we have another. Before you know it, somebody's wanting to taste it. Right. We have another favorite. Now this will open up your sinuses. This is another Chesapeake Bay Farms. This is the horseradish cheddar. Oh. And so if you're having a little sinus issue, <laughs> that will open you right up. Now see, I'll be honest with you. You, you tell me if this is wrong, because the first thing I would do with this is I'd make a fan out of it. Look at that. I love it. He's going to be the he, expert now. Oh, yeah. Huh? He really is. Well, Lisa's going to eat it, and I'm going to put it on, on the table for yeah, her to eat. Yeah. Look. Okay. And next, Lisa, if you want to take our skewers there and skewer some mozzarella, because the other thing you don't want is all your cheese to look the same. Right. So you, we have a log. We, this is a goat cheese, a blueberry vanilla. You've got your Old Bay cheddar. We've got some horseradish. Yeah. Now do we'll I put add, more than one? Yes. Let's do like five or six. Okay. And we'll just line up some mozzarella that's marinated with herbs, and we'll line that here, and that creates all the different shapes. We also have fig spread. Okay. So we do individuals for our little boxes, yeah. or we can do a nice jam or fig spread here. Look at that. And then we just can lean it up really nice on the rows. And then the other great thing is seasonally, these boards can uh, create character. Right. And so this time of year, St. Patrick's Day coming up, we've got a cheddar cheese with port ale. So okay. that could be a really fun Irish thing to do. With Easter coming, hop on that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh. Now we're talking. Yeah, we Look at that. that one on. You could unwrap some chocolate bunnies and right. add those to oh, your board. Right. And then the other thing is, this creates more of that shape to the cheese. So we have a nice round cranberry cheddar that we can add. So it'll create some height and definition. So I feel like the only rules other than the thriller, filler, and spiller is there are no rules. Right, there really aren't. And I think people become so intimidated by um, trying to make one. Trying to make it and making sure it's so pretty. These yeah. look great. Trying to make sure they look just right or they're like, it's too much for me. And it's really not. It's you not. just have fun with it. Tell us about Doc Jam. So Doc Jam is something that, that my husband and I came up with the idea after attending 
a concert at the Delaware State Fair mm -hmm. last year, and we were enjoying the concert, and I said, why why can't we do this in Pocomoke? We have this great opportunity with this beautiful river backdrop, um, and so we hired a wonderful promoter, and she has brought us these Grammy-nominated uh, artists. Wow. And we're going to be serving the river as the backdrop, selling 3,000 tickets, and we have, our first one is May 20th. Mm -hmm. We have two dates, May 20th and October 7th. Okay. We're kicking it old school with that 90s country, and so we have Sammy Kershaw, Colin Ray, and Aaron Tippin. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness, you're not kidding, are you? <laughs> Break out those boots. Oh, they'll be the on. Boots need to come out for the concert. <laughs> wow. And so they're going to perform. We've already had a great response from Pocomoke and, and the neighboring towns. We've sold quite a few tickets already. And then October 7th is Lone Star. So Lone Star's coming to Pokemon. Cool. Goodness. Right. So it's going to be really fun. You don't mess around. No, we're we're bringing the country. It's time to time to do something. So we're going to be selling some of these cool charcuteries at the event. Right. So like these individual boxes is something that you can find. DocJam.com has all the details about how to purchase your tickets. But okay. what better than cheese, and country yeah. music, the river? Boom. Well, what do you want, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so we're Lisa, put some nuts let's yeah. add some nuts to our board. Okay. I'm gonna. Yeah, switch places with me. You oh. guys have just like you scatter, got oops, scatter so, them or piles. Um, I think we need. I'm all about a cluster. We like a good cluster. A good of cluster. <laughs> so you got Mike's hot honey here and and a balsamic glaze. Balsamic glaze. So, so just leave I, them on the board. Well, I love it if people want to add it to their cheese, or sometimes I'll take like our cranberry white cheddar. Right. It might be to kick it up a notch to drizzle some oh, Mike's okay. hot honey on it. Gotcha. And so that just adds that little pizzazz, and then we wouldn't be. Bring some yeah. more color. You know, we need the color to the board, and then we can say we had our vegetables. Then we had our day. green vegetables. Yeah. There right. you go. Or if anyone's on the low carb train, and the you got crackers here and the vegetables. These are awesome crackers. The Crunch Master crackers. So you think in here? I think there. And then over here, you know, we have some people that just love a cheese cube, mm -hmm. and we don't want to <laughs> miss our just tried and true cheese cubes. Right. So add some cheese cubes. I think Jimmy over there near the strawberries. Oh, like how how that many in. of those will you actually get onto the board? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Watching you carefully. Watch, watching me. You, you, you know, I could pockets. eat this. Whole, I think this old bay cheddar. Oh, is the one well, okay. It did go Cheese's in my down. mouth. It went on the floor. That's okay. <laughs> so I think adding some of that, and then this is a pepperoni marinara cheese. So yummy. Mm. And so I think adding that maybe in here or wow. around the blue, blueberry goat cheese would be fun. Oh my goodness. Look at you guys. Look at that. You are building it. And then I have some lemon cookies because lemon brings out a lot of flavor in like a cheddar cheese or pairing it with a fruit. And so I think maybe totally. doing okay. a few lemon cookies. It can definitely be a sweet and savory board. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh. Cookie oh, down. No, cookie Dang. down. Jimmy, you took off your gloves too soon. <laughs> All right. And then I think filling it in over here with some crackers. Okay. So that each end is accessible. I'll try not to get any on the floor here. <laughs> we okay. need we need a dog. Yes, <laughs> wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't yeah, that Del Marva be life fun? Dog. A Del Marva life dog to come pick up what I dropped. And then okay. Jimmy, I think this balsamic glaze would be great on this cheddar. Right. And so just adding that color to your board. Oh my goodness. That's just gorgeous. really makes it pop. And so look at that. Look at that, that indeed. So cool. You guys have created a wonderful board, lots of different cheeses. And now you can go home and recreate that for your next or party. Or take this one. Oh. Or that. <laughs> or that. <laughs> Caitlin Evans, thank you thank so you, much Caitlin. for You're coming welcome. in and You're showing welcome. us how to do this. Make sure Anytime. you get to Dockside yes. in uh, Pocomoke yes. and the thank Dock you. Jams. Thank you. <laughs>